Hello everybody, I'm Martin. I'm here with Fernando and Dante. And today we're lucky enough to be training at the Austin Indoor Soccer Facilities in Round Rock. And today we'll be doing a workout, which is pretty much what Memo Ochoa, Guillermo Memo Ochoa was doing back when he was training with Malaga. And it's a pretty nice workout. It's got a lot of different variations. We're gonna leave the link in the description down below. That way you guys can try this at home if you want to. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you wanna see us try out a different workout from a different goalkeeper that you may know of. But I think we're ready. We've got all our stations set up. You guys ready to go? Yeah, oh yeah, go. started. All right. All right, everybody. So for this first drill, we're gonna be doing a lot of movement. We're gonna be catching a lot of aerial balls, but we're also gonna be working down low and catching low shots. For this one, we have our friend Wendy and Jose that are gonna help us out. They're gonna be our servers. That way we can stay in rotation and keep the momentum going. So we got the setup, we're ready. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so we're all finished with this drill. As you can see, we're all tired. It just killed your quads, your legs. You're doing a lot of movement, a lot of going up, a lot of coming down. Real fun, real challenging. So it's definitely a good drill. It's gonna help you for all those game like scenarios uh, whenever you have a lot of traffic. You know, you need to get a ball up in the air. So we're done with this for now. We're gonna move on over to our next drill. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's go. Move on. Hi guys, so for this next drill, we're still gonna be working on a lot of aerial balls, a lot of catching, 
up in the air uh, so we can get familiar with those movements. Um, like I was telling the guys earlier, this is practice. So if at any point you don't feel comfortable making the catch, feel free to punch the ball out of the way. Just, uh, just so you start getting that habit. That way when you're in a game, you don't have to think about it twice. That's really what this is all about. This repetition, building muscle memory, and that way you can make split second decisions. So we've got it all set up. We're gonna be rotating and uh, we'll just go from there. We'll try and get as many repetitions as possible. That way we all get comfortable playing up in the air. You guys ready? Oh yeah, yeah. let's try, man. Cool. Let's go. Cool. All right, guys, so for this last, last drill we just did, as you can see, it took out a lot from us. Just all the movement, all the jumping, so, uh, kind of putting your body to where you need to, that way you can explode off the ground at a proper way. All that is tricky, looks very easy, but once you're actually doing it, again, it just helps you make split second decisions. That way you get used to the movement and you, you can decide whether you uh, make a clean catch, whether you punch the ball out, but I think we all did pretty good. We all, for the most part, handled the ball very well. We all got off the ground the way we were, we were supposed to. So I think this drill really helped us out. Yeah. You guys like it? Yeah, it was uh, for sure uh, tiring. Even though we were alternating, you still have that, that game feeling momentum of speeding up, slowing down, react to the ball. So that's good. You want to get some exercise and, and get some feet movement out of it. Yeah. You got less than a second to think about if you're gonna punch the ball or if you're gonna catch it. So it helps to be ready for anything. Yeah, exactly. It's just those uh, split second decisions that help to, it helps you work on. But yeah, for this next drill, we're gonna be doing a lot of shot stopping. So hopefully we'll have uh, our friends Jose and Wendy give us some nice shots. That way we get a real good practice out of it. And uh, we'll just go ahead and get that set up and we'll go on to that drill. Yep. Let's go guys. Bye. All right guys, so for this next drill, like I was mentioning earlier, we're, we're gonna be doing a lot of shot stopping. So we have two rows of balls coming at us. Uh, we're gonna be doing a second post kind of save. And then we're gonna get back on our feet real quick, go for a first post, near post kind of save. So we're just gonna be alternating on the kind of shots that are being taken on us. That way we can work on our shot stopping, on our balance, just getting up on our feet, working on that footwork, positioning, closing down angles. We'll be doing both sides first, time around we're going to work on our right side 
Um, so we're gonna have shots coming from our, our right side and then we'll go ahead and switch that we, we just get nice practice coming from both sides. But uh, yeah, we got our, our friends Wendy and uh, Jose getting ready to shot. Uh, so at, at this point, I'm ready. You guys ready for yeah, some shot stopping? Right? Cool, let's go.
All right, guys. So for this last drill, it required a lot of going back, uh, getting on the ground, going back up. Uh, a lot of quick shots coming at you, and uh, it just helps you work on that reaction, getting back up on your feet. And uh, luckily today we were able to have this uh, beautiful ball with us. Uh, we got it at the local soccer corner shop. You should check them out. They've got some real good merchandise, some very good equipment, and uh, we like this ball. These two are really giving us a workout. They're match balls uh, more than training, so they're a bit harsher. They have a, a little bit of a, of a unpredictable trajectory, so it just makes us work a bit more on, on those reactions. But overall, we're real happy with it. We're happy with the way the training session is going. We've got a couple more drills, and then we'll be able to call it a day. You guys ready? Oh ready? yeah. Cool, let's go. Cool. So. All right guys, so for this next drill, we're gonna be doing a lot of distribution, a lot of catching. We've got two variations going on. We're gonna catch the ball, we're gonna throw to one of our partners. Uh, as, as we move on the movements and as we move on with the drill, we're gonna have to be talking more, communicating who we're gonna be distributing the ball to. But uh, first round is gonna be catching, throwing as distribution. Second run is gonna be same way, catching a shot. However, in the second run, we're gonna drop the ball, adjust our body, and then serve the ball with our feet to the same goalkeepers on the side. That way we can work on catching throughout the whole drill, but we're also working on distribution with our upper body and our lower body. So I'm looking really forward to this one. Looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun and it's gonna be a good workout too. You guys ready? Ready? Yeah. Cool. Let's go.
So this last drill was real fun. I liked it. I think Dante and Fernando really liked it too. Just a lot of shot stopping, a lot of distribution, a lot of movement. And in this specific drill, one of the things I was having them do is focus on taking your time. That way you can get the right kick, the right distribution, and also getting familiar with moving in our goal area. Here at Indoor, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of quick movement going on. So this drill is real good for that. But overall, it's just gonna help you, again, work on the distribution and being quick on your feet, making those quick decisions, whether you have pressure on you or not. So I feel really accomplished after this one. How are you guys feeling? Uh, I feel like I was rushing in at the end when we were doing the kicks. I feel like it's something I need to work on. Uh, I feel rush, all my kicks, were, my kicks were off. So like Martin said, we're at practice, slow down, focus on technique. And when the game comes, you should be ready for it. So that's what I learned from it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's a good point. How are you feeling, Fernando? I feel good. I feel like you were working all your body. And you can kick it. I think it works a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a good one. So uh, that was pretty much all of our drills for today. And again, make sure you guys like, make sure you subscribe, and uh, let us know in the comments down below how you think we did, what kind of things you, you believe we need to work on. Uh, that maybe we missed what kind of things you feel like we did pretty good on I feel like the whole drill was pretty pretty well done. Uh, it was very challenging But nothing too difficult nothing that nobody can do. Uh, it's very simple as far as body mechanics So again, just make sure you like subscribe and comment All right guys, so we're all done for the day we had a pretty good workout and uh, again, we just want to give a big shout out to the soccer corner for providing us some nice equipment. That ball is beautiful. We also want to give a shout out to Austin Indoor Soccer Center and our manager, our friend here, Jose, for letting us use the facilities. You guys should check that out. Definitely a good facility to come out, get some uh, game time, play with some friends, good environment. Uh, big thanks to Wendy and little Dante for helping us out with some shots. Our drills today were pretty basic, but very demanding. They had us moving a lot, up in the air, down in the floor, shot stopping, making quick decisions. So overall, I think it was a pretty good drill. And I feel like we, we all did very good on it. You guys feel good? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. I learned a lot, a lot of it for sure. A lot of, take your time on the drill and take advantage of learning and taking that technique down before you got to a field and mess it up. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. While you're practicing, remember it's not about speed. It's about repetition. It's about doing it right every single time. That way, whenever you're in a game, you don't have to think about it. It'll be, it'll be all muscle memory. You can just make those decisions and it'll just be natural uh, for, for you to do it. So uh, overall, real good session. And uh, Fernando, how are you feeling? I feel good, I feel more confident. And yeah, just, just make decisions. So as in a second, if you're gonna punch or if you're gonna keep the ball, it helps a lot. Yeah, exactly. Those split second decisions that you gotta make. But uh, yeah, we're all pretty much done here. I know everybody's tired. <laughs> Let's call it a day. Let's get some rest. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you guys think about these drills. Or if you guys want to see us practice like another goalkeeper, again, comment and uh, make sure to share, follow us, follow our uh, channel. Uh, make sure you look up Core Speed FC, Instagram, Facebook, get some information and check us out. We have a lot of goalkeepers in the area that could really use this training and uh, we want to reach out to them as much as we can. Other than that, keep it up, guys. Keep on working hard, keep on training. All right, thank you. Thank you. Adios.